Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I will be showing you how you can put a seven segment display into FSX using an Arduino with Moby Flight. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. For this project you will need a seven segment display, five wires, and an Arduino Mega. I've included links to all of these in the description below. The only tools you will really need are wire strippers. You can have these traditional ones, these fancy ones, or the automatic ones. I like these because you can measure it and you feel super cool. Our first step is to take one wire and take it from the 5 volt and then assign it to the VCC pin on your segment seven segment display. Our second step is going to go from ground to ground. Your third wire is going to go from the DIN pin to a random pin on the Arduino digital. I'm just going to use pin 30. Our fourth wire is going to go from pin 31 to pin CS on the 7 segment display. Our last wire is going to go from pin 32 to Charlie Lima Kilo CLK on the 7 segment display. Once you have these all wired, you can sol solder them in here with a bit of solder, what, however you pronounce it. Uh, I'm not going to right now because I'm just prototyping. Doesn't do much without MobyFly! So our first step is to click MobyFly. Uh, you can install that in the link below. So, right here, I'm in MobiFlight. Just make sure that your Arduino is plugged in, and it has to be a 2650 mega, otherwise it's not supported. So, sorry if you have an Uno or whatever. So, the first step is go click Extras, and then click Settings. Once you're in here, just click MobiFlight Modules, and then your MobiFlight board. Right now we're going to add a device and this is going to be an LED 7 segment display. Earlier we assigned these pins to 30 for DN, DIN so let's go right here for 30 for Charlie Sierra Sierra let's use 31 And for Charlie Limo, Lima Kilo, let's use 32. Num right here is only for the number of LEDs. You have daisy chained, so if you like solder these together with magic and whatnot, the, this could be up to 8. And if you want them to be super dim because your eyes hurt, you can do that. But I just set mine at bright because it's kind of hard to see when they're dim. So, once you have it to the pins, you just click Upload Current Configuration, and then they're like making you rethink life choices. So then you just press OK, wait a little bit, Upload is finished. So now this is a device. So press OK, and then in the output tab, add some, add your thing. I'm just gonna do video com one example for organization. Click active, otherwise it won't work. That take, took me like an hour to figure out. Uh, go to edit, and then you can use presets. Uh, for mine, I'm going to use Radio COM1 Active Frequency. 
and then click use. So then you can go to like display and then you can go to compare and there's all this fancy condition stuff. We don't need that right now. Uh, for your module, you can select your MobiFlight Mega and use your display module because that's where the seven segment display is. For this, you can just select which ones you want it to show on. So, since there's five digits in a code, since there are five digits in a communication code, since there are five digits in an in an airport frequency, we're going to have five boxes checked. And then we are going to click number three, because after number three, we're going to have the decimal point. So it'd be one, two, one, decimal five for the emergency code. Uh, we're going to use left padding. That's kind of a weird thing that happens. Yeah, we're going to use left padding, and that'll make it go and be left-centered. Okay, now we're going to open Microsoft Flight Simulator. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, we did. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so go from FSX, calm down, go to free flight, and fly now. Yeah, I'm using a Cessna 172 for this, because I fly that. Uh, so, now that we have it all configured, we can just press the little run button, and now it is running with our flight simulators. Uh, frequency. So, right now, if we want to go, we can... This is for a different one, so don't pay attention to this. But, if we want to set it to 1, 2, 9, or decimal 1, 2, we can switch, press switch right here, and then, boom! It says 1, 9, or, one, two, nine or decimal 1, 2. And if we want to go, uh, let's say, let's say we're having a real bad day, we could go to one, two, one, decimal five, decimal five. Sorry about that. And so now, ATC is paying attention to us, so that's always good. And with this, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, if you want, you could actually go to edit right here. Uh, let's make sure it stopped. Uh, you could go to FSUIPC and then use preset. Uh, let's see tr if there's transponder. Yeah, transponder. Then click use. Uh, let's go to display. We only want four. So then you go test. One, two, three, four. That's pretty good. So click that, run. So now our transponder code is is shown right here. So you could go like hmm zero 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 zero. Then we could be like one 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 one. Lots of ones. Then we could go seven seven zero zero. Or no, zero zero seven seven. Then boom. Should that work? Yes. So it could be like seven three two one then that'd be it seven six four two that's there see and then you can configure it to whatever you want right here i configured the aircraft's time right uh this little seg seven segment display does not have time marking so we'll just we just didn't put those in so if you press run it has the time right here. 
So, 13, 14, 15, 16, so on. Isn't that super cool? So right here, you have your cl little clock. November 704, Darling Velo, contact Denver Departure on 121.5, Squad 7600.